Hey guys, had a lot of people asking me about uh, inspections on these things and what to look for and what not to look for. Now, this is Jimmy here. This camper's in really, really good shape. Uh, there's a little bit of apparent uh, rot on the inside, but that's not what we're concerned about. What I'm concerned about is people unscrupulously giving these things a slap and a tickle on the inside and then a person comes along and he doesn't know what to look for so i'm going to give you a quick to look for here now like i said this camper's in really good shape i'm on i'm laying on the ground on a piece of plastic out at the farm and you can see this bolt right here hanging down sure indication that there's rot in the around the perimeter here now this one like i said you can see it on the inside but i could if i was unscrupulous i could put plywood over it i could make it look real nice and you would never know that there's rot here now you got the same thing on the other side and i'm gonna zoom in and rather than get up because i'm lazy today you see that bolt hanging down over there by the steps that's another indication the same thing by the door is the place you want to check but you want to check the entire perimeter i'm not going to do it on this one but because it's all in good shape but you want to check the entire perimeter of this camper up underneath now you're going to get dirty when you do it don't know what to tell you it's just the way it is if you want to do a proper inspection you're going to take a look at these frames where they come right in here Let's see if I back that out a little bit for you all right this is where the hitch comes in you want to check here for cracks you want to check in front of the shackles. I'll give you another view right there, front and back. You want to make sure that none of those leaf springs there are broken. I can't count one, two, there's five of them, nothing broken. Five of them on this side, nothing broken. Take a look at your plumbing, see if it's intact as long as you're under here. Um, this has the tank in it. This, is, this camper is in really good shape. The only damage on this camper is in the front um, and a little spot in the back. But yeah, so what I want you to do is get dirty, get underneath of these things and take a look and make sure that you know what you're looking for. Uh, again, front and back of the frame where the shackles are up there, uh, no cracks. Uh, I did an inspection of a frame when I did Olive, if you go into the YouTube station and you'll see Olive's frame inspection. I don't know if I put it as frame inspection, but anyway, I showed you on that one on a frame that was hanging um, from the from the rafters at the garage there and you can get a better look at what i'm talking about but yeah when you're looking at these things be careful another thing i just want to quickly mention here is if these bolts are up these are the box bolts these are what hold the whole box on top of this metal frame now this one has two and the one next to it's good but if these are bad you want to take the time to strap all the way around this entire camper. You do not want to drive this thing up the highway very fast or very far. That's not to say it's going to come apart, but, you know, there's a possibility that it could. Um, you want to take a strap and go around the entire camper and underneath of the frame to make sure that you don't get any lift on this box. So that's the two-minute tutorial on taking a look at these frames. I apologize to everybody. I haven't been doing a whole lot of videos here lately, but I have had quite a few people ask me about this, and I just wanted to address it while the sun was out and the birds are singing. So I hope this video finds you well, and may God bless you all.